Hi there and welcome back to another Staff Meal series. Today is number 24 and we're making Japanese Kare Raisu. This is one of my favorite dishes to eat growing up and here's how you make it. I'm using boneless chicken thighs to go with my curry but you can use bone in as well. Next, you want to prep the vegetables. I'm using carrots and potatoes, peeled and roughly chopped into about the same size. This is so that they cook evenly where one is not overcooked and then another one undercooked. Next, onions. Just roughly chop them again and on to the cooking. Into hot pan, oil and butter and along with the vegetables, seasoned with salt and pepper. Fry them until the onions turn a little translucent. About 3 to 4 minutes, then go ahead and set them aside. Into the same pan, some oil again. The chicken goes in and give them a fry. Fry them until they turn a golden brown color. Then add in back the vegetables and water. Bring it to a boil and then turn it down to simmer and cover the lid. I'll be using this brand of curry sauce mix, Vermont curry, because this is the best that I've tried so far. I'm also only going to use half of it, which is six cubes, which will feed six to seven people. Now, after 10 minutes of cooking, add in the curry sauce cubes and let it dissolve. It's looking a little thin now, but don't worry. Simmer it for another 10 minutes and you'll end up with that luscious, glossy curry that we're all familiar with. Look at that. Serve it up with some steamed white rice and you got that perfect bowl of curry rice. Happy cooking and enjoy!